Hi, my name is Laurel Davidson, and I'm part of the Laboratory and Museum Studies course at the University of Mary Washington. For the 2019 Margaret Sutton What the Mind and Senses Conceive exhibition, I'm focusing on one of Sutton's untitled works featuring animals in a wooded setting. Margaret Sutton grew up in Southern Virginia before she attended the University of Mary Washington, then the Fredericksburg State Teachers College. A few years after graduating in 1926, she moved up to New York City, where she spent the rest of her life. Sutton produced thousands of works in her decades-long career, and most, like the one seen here, were left untitled and undated. Still, connections between her work and other contemporary artists can be found. Along with many other New York City artists, Sutton became involved in the Surrealist movement in the 1940s. She developed an interest in psychology and the subconscious, and many of her paintings show complex abstract dreamscapes with mysterious subjects. Despite the resemblance to real creatures, like horses or donkeys, the five animals in the painting are warped into unnatural and disquieting shapes. A prominent surrealist work, Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory, was shown at the Museum of Modern Art in 1940 as part of a larger exhibition of modern art, where it may have been seen by Sutton, and it demonstrates similar warped forms that are common throughout surrealism. A similar style to Sutton's painting, with flat figures over a richly patterned background, can be seen in Pablo Picasso's Girl Before a Mirror, on display at the same exhibition. Sutton's work frequently features dense patterning, here made more striking by the contrast in the painting's limited palette. The natural forms of the plants and animals melt together with unclear boundaries and are backed by geometric patterns and flat blocks of color. The wide-eyed animals stare out at the viewer, seemingly all of the same species but varying in shape and color. The large one to the top right is so abstracted that it is difficult to separate from the background, while the other four are more distinct but nearly as confusing in their own right. However unsettling the forms and mysterious the narrative, this painting is a fine example of sudden skill with color, patterns, and surrealism. It will be on view from April 19th to September 13th at the What the Mind and Senses Conceive exhibition in the Convergence Gallery at the University of Mary Washington's Hurley Convergence Center.